There are many ways to go about house training and a quick search will turn up many techniques. However, some are outdated and are harmful to the relationship between you and your dog. This guide will teach you modern, humane, positive-based techniques to house training that make you work with your dog's natural instincts and tendencies and will actually strengthen the relationship between you. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. Exclamation mark. Labrador puppies grow up fast. They bring much joy and quite a few challenges. Getting ready for your puppy. Good preparation creates a smoother transition into dog ownership. Make sure you have a plan in mind for who is going to care for your pup during the day if you work full time. They won't be able to be left for more than an hour or so at most for a few weeks, so planning ahead is a big deal. Feeding and caring for your Labrador puppies. Feeding your puppy a healthy diet is very important for his growth and health. Feeding your Labrador puppy on home-cooked food or on a totally raw diet is also possible. You've probably heard a barf, or biologically appropriate raw food. Feeding dogs this way is growing in popularity, and there are pros and cons to raw feeding puppies. That's another area we will explore later on. Some dogs and some families are better suited to raw feeding, and many dogs and their families are probably better suited to feeding kibble. Really, you can choose the method that suits you best. If like most people, you'll be feeding your Labrador puppy on commercial dry puppy food, you should not feel that you are letting him down in any way. Let's look now at feeding your Labrador puppy kibble. This dried food is how most modern puppies are fed in the USA and the UK. Of course, some of this food, known as kibble, is poor quality, using grain, ash, and other byproducts to add cheap bulk. Other kibble brands are of excellent quality and provide your puppy with all the nutrients it needs. Dried, pelleted foods come in sacks or cartons in a range of flavors and textures, making it easy to find something that your puppy enjoys. Most vets and breeders believe that kibble is the best way of feeding your Labrador puppy. As a result, you are likely to get plenty of support from your vet if you decide to feed your puppy on dry food. Puppies enjoy being close to their grown-ups. This is natural and normal. It makes them feel safe. Puppies also feel safe if they have a den, a place of safety, like the whelping box or nest where they were born, to rest in when they are on their own. Recreating this nest in your own home takes a little time because your home seems strange and new to the puppy at first. Many people use a crate for their dog's new den. It will take several days for the crate to feel like home. But you can hurry that process up by leaving the door open all day and leaving food and nice toys in there for your puppy to find. How to stop your puppy biting. Biting is one of the most challenging problems for many new puppy parents. But it needn't spoil your enjoyment of lab puppies. We have all the information you need to stop your puppy biting in no time at all. Many Labrador parents if asked, when do puppies stop biting, will answer, not soon enough. Being bitten by an 8-week-old puppy is surprisingly painful. It is also very upsetting. With some exceptions, puppy biting will stop by the time your puppy has his full set of grown-up teeth at 7 months. Separate and supervise the first step in this process is to protect any children you may have, or that visit and play with your puppy. You may well have had a lovely picture in your mind of your sweet puppy and children playing happily together whilst you relax with a glass of wine, or mow the lawn. Children under 5 are simply not capable of playing with a puppy under 4 months without getting bitten. So you need to supervise every interaction between them. Saving your sanity and enjoying your puppy if you were not expecting this, it can seem like a big deal, but supervision and some separation is essential if you are to keep your sanity, and your children are to dry their tears and carry on enjoying their puppy. The next stage is all about making sure you avoid doing all those things we talked about which make biting worse. Don't make things worse your first job at this stage, is to keep your puppy calm. To recognize when he is getting overexcited and break up the game. Your second job is to stop giving your puppy rewards for biting. Remember, a Labrador puppy's favorite reward is your attention. 
Make sure the puppy gets no reward at all when he bites someone. Especially no attention. Teach your puppy not to hurt you bite inhibition is taught in stages. The puppy learns to reduce the power of his bites gradually. And is eventually taught not to mouth human skin at all. If your puppy bites and hurts you, remove your attention immediately. This is where baby gates can be really helpful. If you are playing with your puppy and he bites you, you can step over the gate, thus effectively removing all attention from him. All of a sudden his playmate has disappeared. Most importantly, punishment through physical or verbal reprimands is now proven to be associated with aggression later in a dog's life. That's why modern behaviorists and veterinary professionals all now recommend that puppies are taught using positive training methods and not force. Potty training your Labrador puppy. Puppy parents who can't consistently be around to take their puppy out frequently in the first few weeks need to give their puppy a suitable place to pee indoors when they're not around. You can still take them out whenever you're at home, but while you're out they'll use sheets of newspaper or pee pads indoors. Likewise if you live in an apartment without a yard, you'll need to potty train indoors until your puppy's vaccination schedule is complete. The puppy is learning the principle of extending the nest area, which he keeps clean instinctively, to include your entire home. Punishment is counterproductive in this process as it teaches the puppy to avoid emptying himself in your presence. Restricted access starts small applies here too. Allow your puppy access only to a small part of your home. Increase the area he has access to only when he is capable of keeping the current area clean. Based around these practical requirements you can create your own house training routine. Take puppy outside to the toilet area and wait with him until he empties himself. Bring him indoors and allow him free access to your kitchen for 15 to 20 minutes. Crate or cuddle the puppy until it is 30 minutes since his last wee. Take the puppy back out to the toilet area if at any time the puppy does not empty himself then confine him for another 10 minutes and try again. Provided you stick to these principles and strategies, the house training process, though quite intense for a short while, will pass smoothly. Socialization and raising friendly Labrador puppies. One of the great things about Labradors is their good nature. Puppies need to be socialized in order to grow up friendly and confident. The ideal puppy socialization period is between 8 and 16 weeks go age. During this age your puppy has what is known as a socialization window. A period of time when they have little fear of new experiences and will widely accept anyone new. Until your puppy's vaccinations are fully effective, you will need to keep him away from other dogs whose vaccination status is unknown. You will also need to keep him away from anywhere that such a dog may have used as a toilet. Your puppy will therefore need to be carried in your arms in any public area. If a puppy is kept shut away from people, cars, dogs and other trappings of the modern world until the socialization period has ended, he will most likely be a fearful dog. He may be very fearful indeed. Such dogs can be helped, but it is a longer and slower process. Of course most puppies are not shut away like this. They are raised within a family and grow to accept many new experiences. Using the window of socialization means that for a few weeks after bringing your puppy home, you will need to arrange your life in a way that ensures your puppy is exposed to all sorts of people and places. He needs to meet people of different sizes and of both sexes, people in a variety of different clothing, uniforms, casual clothes, reflective gear, motorcycle helmets etc. Most importantly of all, he needs to meet children of different ages. Very small children move differently and sound different from older children and adults and they also behave unpredictably. Make sure your puppy is not nervous of children of any age. A lot of people see house training as a very hard thing to do. And a few that go into the process with no guidance or knowledge ultimately end up failing. And it's a sad fact that many dogs abandoned to shelters end up there due to owners not being able to cope with a dog that toilets in their home. But it shouldn't be this way. When you know what your pet needs to do, what's required of you and how you can work with a dog's natural instincts and tendencies, the process is actually quite easy. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. 
Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.